Most of what we learn about culture takes place in the first five years of our lives. One Cree community calls her Opastasu, or whirlwind. It's the perfect description for 3M recipient Olenka Bilash. As coordinator of second language instruction and international education, this force of nature accepts no excuses. But she does offer a world of support in preparing senior students for the demanding job of teaching second languages. And pronunciation is, of course, very important for the oral. Why? Alenka was so friendly and approachable and just so ready to help us. She was there from 7 in the morning until 6 at night on Saturdays. If we needed to come in for questions, she was on her email at 3 in the morning. Just so, oh no, I have a last minute question, I need to get in before I hand this project in tomorrow. And so you ham hammer it off to her at midnight and you still get a response within the next 10 minutes. She pushes us to the breaking point, but she's right there beside us and she really exemplifies what a teacher is. We're going to start on time, we will never have a day off and you will never leave early. And um, if there's a storm during this time, check in with me by email and we'll decide if we're going to meet or if we're going to meet by Skype, but there will always be something to do. It's intensive and it was a lot of work and it was very intimidating at first. I've never had a teacher just dedicated in the sense that she wants to push us to prepare us for a classroom. She wants to challenge what we traditionally think in education. It's my job and our collective responsibility as professors to see that each student leaves with a changed worldview, more critical and compassionate than it was. That it's very difficult to learn a second culture in a short period of time. It's uh, to help them develop the courage and the confidence to take a stand, to write a letter to an editor, to sign a petition, uh, to formulate a petition. She's one of those professors that actually practices what she preaches, which is awesome and refreshing. I worked harder in the five and a half weeks that I was with her than I did in the other three and a half years of my undergrad, but I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. Born and raised in India, Uttandaraman Sandararaj goes by simply UT or Dr. S. You guys know what this is? Or silly putty? Now at the University of Calgary, this 3M winner has impressed legions of students explaining the complex engineering of polymers with demonstrations drawn from everyday life. You know, you may actually see it kind of sag. I thought I was doing a very good job. And then the students gave their evaluations, which of course are anonymous. Then they really told me how they felt. And I said, okay, you know, what is it that I'm not doing? How am I not reaching them? So I took some effort to really plan activities in class, like for example, uh, you know, using silly putty to understand how uh, polymers may deform, or by using Lego to describe how polymers may uh, expand in their, when they crystallize and these types of things, that the students could actually put their hands on things and see how it happened, and that three-dimensional viewing and talking with each other really helped. A lot of people have different learning applications or learning methods, and he basically tries to learn, you know, what your your learning style is, you know, how you basically learn and how you listen and um, what you respond to. And in class he'd have a lot of sort of personal ex examples, stories, you know, um, where you just can tell that, you know, he likes the material, he wants to connect the material to real life and he wants us to be interested and to enjoy the material too. The reason I found out about this actually is because um, a few years ago my daughter was about a year a year and a half, I guess, she was uh, diagnosed with leukemia. I have a firm belief that no matter who you are, you can always teach better. And that really gave me a lot of pleasure, was to try and help other professors, whether they were newer or had been here some time, to teach better and to give them new ways of thinking. The people here are very committed to teaching, and that's, I think, why, you know, for myself, when I won the 3M Award, I really felt, you know, that it was a, an effort of all the university, all the support staff here, all the faculty here, to win that award, not that it was given to me, but to the people here who were concerned about teaching.